For this measurement, we are going to do an indirect Pythagoras measurement. As you see, the first measurement is going to be this top leg of the triangle. The second one is going to be the straight line going through the middle of the triangle. And the third great thing is going to be the bottom of this triangle. That corresponds to first reading, top, triangle. Second reading, straight shot ahead. And the third reading, the bottom. And so the trick to doing the Pythagoras measurement accurately is making sure that you move it consistently from point to point. And in this case, we're using a little imaginary line just to the left of the tape measure. You consistently do all three measurements along the same line, top, middle, 90 degrees, and then bottom, all straight, along the tape measure. You should get finally an accurate result within an eighth of an inch of the stated accuracy of the device, but also it should be pretty repeatable. So let's go ahead and try this. So we're set and ready to do measurement. Uh, excuse me if I need to put the phone down. Just hit the button to turn the laser back on. Okay, so the laser is straight ahead. Let's move it to the top there. Uh, let me put the phone down. Do I have to? Wait. Let me see if I can get this done right. So there it is. Not quite at the corner. A little above the corner. Holding it steady. Push the button. Uh, it flinched a little. Okay, let's go do the middle measurement. Blinking line, middle measurement. Let's check the level, make sure that this is going to be level. Uh, let's move it again a little more. level, push the button to activate the laser again, there we are, okay, and let's go ahead and hit the measurement button, and let's do the last leg of the triangle, blinking line at the bottom, that's the bottom here, Shift it over slightly. And let's go ahead and try hitting the measurement button. Move it over just a little. Hold it steady. And we have 78 and 1 8. So the actual measurement, as you'll see on the tape measure, is in fact 78 and an eighth. So pretty accurate. And the only way we can get this is because we are literally taping a laser distance measure, measure, laser distance meter, onto a tripod. And this tripod is going to be pretty stationary and will not move. And so, using the tilt and pan controls here on the tripod, we've got the laser distance meter locked in place pretty much. The only thing we're able to do is go up and down. And as you can see, if we keep this level and we measure the same exact spots along the same line, the same line as the tape measure, we do in fact get an accurate measurement. So again, it's very important to remember that any sort of Pythagoras measurement is going to be highly dependent on any errors you might have. In your measurement, that is if you're 
number two measurement, the straight measurement to the middle of the door, if that is slightly off, it's not going to be a true 90 degrees. That'll affect your reading, and thereby it'll affect your accuracy. And there, if you don't actually point the laser at the actual top of the door frame, or at the bottom, if you don't point it at the actual bottom of the door frame, then your Pythagoras measurement is going to be off. But if you use the same repeatable steps, it will be accurate.